Good morning kids. Today we will understand about the shadows. As discussed in the previous class, now we clearly know that light can pass through a transparent object clearly, it can pass through translucent object partially and it cannot pass through an opaque object. We also know that light travels in a straight line. So what happens when an opaque object comes in the path of the light? Let us find it out. Here the boy is an opaque object who is walking in the sunlight. What do we see here? Oh, here we see a dark patch on the side of the object. This dark patch is called the shadow of that object. How was the shadow formed? When the path of light was obstructed by an opaque object, then an area of darkness was created on the side of the object away from the light. This is shadow. Now we shall understand more about the shadows. When exactly is a shadow formed? Can we find a shadow when it is a total dark? No. We cannot see a shadow in the dark. So, to form a shadow, a source of light is required. It is only when the light rays are obstructed by an opaque object, then we get a shadow of that object. Like in the story, Sona used a torch as the source of light to create a shadow. Can a transparent object form a shadow? We know shadow is formed when an object blocks the path of the light. But the transparent object allows all the light to pass through it, so no shadow is formed. Hence, to form a shadow, an opaque object is required. Like in the story, Sona used a toy, an opaque object whose shadow was formed on the ground as well as as on the wall. Now tell me, do you ever see a shadow of a bird flying very high in the sky? No. So why we can't see the shadow of a flying bird? It's because shadow is always formed on any screen or surface. The land may act as a screen but the problem is that it is too far. If the bird was flying low, then maybe we can see its shadow on the ground or the wall nearby. So to form a shadow, a screen or a surface behind the object is required. Like in the story, the shadow of the toy was formed on the wall and also on the ground. Here we see all the things required for the shadow formation source of light, opaque object and screen. But still no shadow is formed. Why is that? If we see carefully, we will find that the screen is not behind the opaque object. So no shadow is formed. Now the screen is behind the object. That is object is between the source of the light and the screen. Hence, a shadow of the object is formed. Let us see the characteristics of shadow now. You are going to a party wearing a colorful dress. But when you look at your shadow, can you see the color of your dress? No. We get a black shadow. Shadows are always black regardless of the color of the object used to make the shadow. As we saw in the story, the toy used by Sona was red in color but its shadow was black in color. If you see just the shadow of the boy, can you tell whether he is wearing a tie or not? No, because shadow only shows the shape or the outline of the object and not the details. Just like in the story, the thieves saw the huge black shadow of the toy monster and seeing its outline thought it was a ghost. 
you know the shape of the shadow also changes with the change in the position of the opaque body here the shadow changed when the body bent it down a little you saw in the story that the shadow of the monster became bigger and bigger but how was sona able to do so is it possible to change the size of the shadow from the actual size of the object yes the size of a shadow varies depending on the distance between the object and the source of light change the distance between the object and the source of light and the size of shadow changes you can also change the distance between the object and the screen to change the size of the shadow shadow is small when opaque object is close to the screen and large when opaque object is close to the source of the light so now you must have understood how sona was able to change the size of the shadow of the toy monster to scare away the thieves ha 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 now let us see how shadows are formed due to the sunlight so the sun is the source of the light the boy is the opaque object which obstructs the light and hence his shadow is formed the ground is the screen or the surface on which the shadow is formed if we observe in the morning the shadow is the longest now it is the noon time the sun is directly above the boy and his shadow is the shortest as the evening approaches the shadow again becomes longer so we see the size of the shadow keeps on changing with the position of the sun to summarize now you all very well know how shadows are formed a source of light is required an opaque object is required and a screen or surface behind the object is required shadows are always black regardless of the color of the object used to make the shadow shadow only shows the shape or the outline of the object not its details the size of the shadow varies depending on the distance between the object and the source of the light and the distance between the object and the screen so the next time you are in dark and suddenly see some shadow <laughs> don't get scared for it just means that there is a source of light nearby that's all for now have fun with the shadows bye bye